Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows. So I had a lot of you messaging me about an update on the rain chain and I've been waiting for the rainfall and uh, it's raining right now so I thought it's perfect time to do that. Um, some of you asked if I had any issues with it, if there are any problems and I'm happy to say I'm happy to report there's been there have been no issues. The drainage has been great. Um, it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. There's no erosion around my front porch. We've had some really heavy rainfall. I mean like buckets falling down in, in moments. So there's not been a washout. Um, what I'm curious to see is how it's going to do through the winter and with ice formation and that sort of thing. So I will definitely update you with it then. But I'm going to flip this around and show you what it looks like right now. And here it is. I think the only thing that I will do is where the, the attachment is on the gutter here, I'm going to get a copper piece that will fit in there and then I'll just reconnect it. And it's really easy to do, so no big deal. And what's really cool about this is when we get a really heavy rainfall, there's very little splatter. So you can see there's splatter happening in here. Um, there's very little of it when the rain gets heavy, heavy. Um, it just falls right through the center of it. It's very, it's a very clean flow. So I guess the only thing would be if you're going to do this is just be aware that there is some splatter with it. So if it's near closer to a house, it's really not an issue for me. So I don't have like mud splatter anywhere. It's just, um, it's a really clean system and it just drains. I've got it anchored down here with an anchor, um, an auger that goes right into the ground and keeps it nice and tight. So can move it if the wind not going to be blowing everywhere. The auger was really the anchor auger was really important for that. And if you go back to my YouTube video when I installed it, there's links to that that auger piece. So um, good directions, which is where I got this rain chain from. It's 100% copper. It comes in two different patinas. I liked the copper patina, but you could also get the one that has the verdigris verdigris patina on it. So it's it's that green color that copper develops over time. And I just thought it would be fun to watch the the patina develop in my garden over time. So um, I ordered that one, but you can definitely go for either look depending on what your preference is. Uh, I went with the auger piece down here. Um, I wanted to get the bowl that, that you can order separately with this rain chain, but it just wouldn't fit. And I'm going to take you around the back side. So it's, it's fall and we've got the pillar done with corn stalks right now. But you can see here that it's very close. So this is my porch, front porch here. The bowl is just too wide for it to fit. So let me come back around. The bowl would have been too big for this piece. That's why I had to put an auger in here to anchor it into place. And so the water just, there's no pooling in this area. The water just flows all the way down and I use that really heavy duty, sorry, we got a truck passing. I used very heavy duty landscape fabric that's meant for rocks. So that I'll have, I'll still have permeability, so the water will still be able to seep through, but it won't be, it won't pool down here, and it'll flow down. So this is slope. There's a slight slope to this, so it's a little higher up here, so the water will flow down. Um, I don't have any washout down here. It's it's worked out really great. So I am, like I said, I'm very curious to see how this how this comes along in the winter time when there is in, inevitably there will be ice formation. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this whole thing holds up. And I expect it'll, it'll do just fine. It actually will be quite, quite pretty as, the, as it's thawing and water's running through the ice and everything. So I will update you on that when that time comes, but I'm really happy and I was kind of hoping that we might get a really heavy rainfall here so you can see what this looks like flowing through. So you wait a day and you end up with a heavier rainfall. I'm glad for any bit of rain we get leading it going into winter here. But um, it flows almost straight through. There's a little bit of splashing. No big deal. And it's not like it's going into a mud pit or anything like that where it would create a huge mess. 